Hi, this is Steve with Homestrung Jewelry. And Debbie with Homestrung Jewelry. And today we're here to tell you about a brand new gemstone box that we have. Uh, this is not a subscription box. This is a tween, our second tween. We did once in a blue moon in August. And so this is our October box, our harvest box, or our Halloween, Halloween tween. tween box, which is just fun to say. Say Halloween tween 10 times real fast and tell me you're not going to smile. Anyway, this box will be coming out at the end of the month, but we are not going to show you what's inside the box today. But to you'll want to see when we do. Oh, it's, this is a fun one. We had a lot of fun with this one. But what we're going to do today is we're going to do a Meet the Orphans and give you a chance to see the unique orphans that are going out in this box. Give us just a second and we'll set it up for you. And here they are. These are your orphans. It's another ta-da moment. Actually, this is more of a thunder and lightning, crack of thunder sort of thing, because these are our Halloween tweens. We are featuring black sardonyx for this box. These, you'll notice that these do not have pendant holes. These are cabochons. Cabochons are the favorite stone among wire wrappers. Bead weavers. Uh, bead embroidery, uh, or just kind of fun to hold on to and hang on to. These are popular among more, those that like fidget stones. Well, if you're one of the more traditional jewelry makers, there will be some glue-on bells in, in the box so that you can attach a bell to any of these cabochons and use it as a type of uh, jewelry component. But they're also all the same size and shape. These are roughly uh, 30 by 20 to 22 millimeters. Most of them are 22 which has been really popular in our studio when we're teaching classes to first-time uh, first wire wrappers or first-time bead weavers because they're very consistent. And we already have some tutorials planned, and it won't matter because the shapes are all the same. Uh, so the tutorials will apply to everything. What makes this set of stones extra special is the banding pattern is different on every single stone. It is the way your banded agates, in this case your black sardonyx, is made. They're made in alternating layers of black and white. We're talking about over, this is Mother Earth and nature creating these stones. Over tens of thousands if and millennia. Millions and billions of years. <laughs> this is a stone that has been used in jewelry and in art for literally millennia. It's mentioned in the Bible. In Roman times, ancient Roman warriors would take and have these stones carved the way you would carve a cameo, but the image they put on them was Hercules or Ares, the god of Mars, and then they would wear them into battle and believe that the courage from Hercules and Ares would be bestowed upon them in battle and they would be more courageous and more fearsome. Yeah, not sure how that worked, but that's the legend. Uh, they were also popular to uh, be carved and used in signet rings back when they would seal things, you know, envelopes and messages with, uh, with sealing wax. And you're probably all familiar with cameos. Cameos have been popular for centuries and they are usually carved. They'll take a, a black stone where the top layer is your black and then they'll carve down to the white layer to make the image that they want to bring out in that cameo. And in Europe, it was considered really high fashion to go around wearing cameo carved black sardonyx jewelry. You were considered to be high class. So when you get your box, you are automatically elevated to upper class. And we, we listen to you, and all of the stones will come with names. Spooky names. Yes, because of the Halloween or harvest theme, depending. And like this, for example, is Wisp. And you can see the real subtle lines in there. You've got a rather bold pattern up here, but down at the bottom you have some lines that just disappear. They're kind of wispy. Little wispy lines. Yeah, yeah. Wisp being kind of a, a spirit that has been feared for... Many, many generations, I believe. They have they had a reputation of playing pranks and being very impish. They were hard to see, especially in certain lights, because they tend to flicker, you know, in and out of focus. And that's kind of the way these lines in this stone are. Which is probably why I've never seen one, except for this one here. 
We have a little boulder pattern over here, uh, white lines. I call this sticks for the river sticks, which was, of course, the means of transport from the land of the living to the dead. If you've ever seen a movie that had the river sticks, it had a lot of fog, and that's what the white line reminds me as it moves up there is that white foggy river and this stone even has the addition of an adorable little boat making its journey from the living to the land of the dead on the river sticks and up here on the left hand side upper left you have kind of a swirling cloud you know off to eternity or or just the opposite possibly but anyway that is sticks and over here we have pumpkin which kind of has a big jack-o'-lantern smile on her. Uh, again, you have to look down. There's a lot of depth to these stones. You can see the bold white lines, but hidden down inside are a lot of other lines. These are some just spectacular, spectacularly beautiful stones. This one's one of my favorites. This is spider. You can see the fine multitude of fine lines in here that remind me of the beginning of a spider web. Okay, then over here we have a stone we call Zilla. Uh, Zilla is from a Hebrew name, which means shadow. And you can see there's the little lines down here, like on the wisp, and then it's repeated up above. Because, the one's a shadow of the other, yeah. Because of the shadowy lines that you see in this stone, your ancient druids used to believe that black sardonyx had the ability to grant them invisibility. Yes, which is why you don't see any druids today. Either it worked and they're all invisible, or it didn't work and they all got wiped out. Okay, oh, Morgana. Morgana, a famous sorcerer from the King Arthur legends. Uh, she also believed in invisibility, could turn her troops invisible so that they could invade. But anyway, this is Morgana, and I believe there's a tiny bit of druzy in this stone as well. And you can't have Morgana without having Merlin one of the most famous wizards of all time. If you look real carefully, kind of turn it to the side. You can see the little wizard's hat coming up through yeah. the white stripes. You see the, the point of a wizard's hat. So and you, that's Merlin. And you can see the lines which with uh, Merlin lived backwards in time. And so there's the time patterns. Lots of witches in our little selection here. Right here we have just Hazel, Witch Hazel. There's her evil eye over there on the side. This is kind of a, a cartoon witch, I believe. But there's your big white line there, but there's just all sorts of little tiny stripes that run throughout this whole stone. Oh, let's find another fun one here. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. This is Dullahan. This is the, the name of the famous Headless Horseman in Irish legends, which came over to the United States and, of course, was the legend of Sleepy Hollow. But uh, Dullahan was the, was the original Headless Horseman. And you can see he's got a line there. The head has been removed. <laughs> I've got a, a vampire one here somewhere. Which Wait. might might take me just a second. In the meantime, uh, we've got, of course, we can't forget Hitch uh, for Hitchcock, who is famous for some of the, a lot of suspenseful uh, type movies and things. And look at the lines and patterns in this stone. Here's Blade. That's Blade. Blade, the famous book, uh, famous comic book, um, a vampire hunter. Hunter. And yep, yeah, that's Blade. You can see the Blade pattern that's formed with the lines if you look very carefully. Oh, let's find a fun one here. Of course, we have another witch here. Uh, actually, we call this Bell, uh, which in uh, 16th century Scottish stories, a woman by the name of Agnes Simpson was known as the Bell Witch. We liked Bell better than we did Agnes Simpson, so, or Samson, excuse me. And there's her evil eye over there, just looking out over all of us and condemning us. Oh, this is one I like. Because this has just a really fun pattern. Okay, if you see the lines in this, it isn't a real straight line. It kind of goes all squiggly and wavy. Uh, this is Phoebe. 
after another witch. And by the way, when we send out the adoption papers for all of these, there will be no explanation for the name. We thought it'd just be more fun if you had a chance to go explore and find the names yourself. You know, go ahead well, and Google so them. So many of the names have multiple roots, multiple legends, multiple stories. We weren't sure which one we should connect to to the name, to the stone, so we're going to let you determine. And if you have a hard time figuring out exactly why we put this stone in there, you can just send us an email or put a comment uh, down in the, uh, the unboxing video after you've got your stone, and, and we'll try to explain it to you. We'll give you a few hints, and then we'll let you do it. This is Dagon. Uh, I pick this name because for this stone because it looks like little hills over here, fertile hills, and Dagon was an ancient Mesopotamian god of crop fertility. And of course, because Halloween time is a time of harvest, it, hey, Dagon has become associated with both the harvest and with Halloween. But just a really fun pattern in there. And of course, it's the fall time, and so this stone we call Autumn. This is for people who maybe don't celebrate Halloween or not into the actual holiday. We're trying to make the box and the orphans generic enough to appeal to all people. Yes, I hate Halloween, but I like autumn. So <laughs> autumn is a pretty stone. Oh, here's Myrtle. Myrtle is both witch and ghost. Yes. From the Harry Potter Other stories. <laughs> and so this is Myrtle for those of you who are into that. Again, you just have you keep looking and you see more and more lines. You see the bold lines and then they're thinner and thinner and thinner. They just seem to go on forever. And then we have Salem, which of course is associated with witchcraft, but also I believe Salem was the name of Sabrina's cat. Sabrina, the comic book from the Archie comic books, The yeah. Witch. The it Teenage her Witch, name. her cat's name was Salem. Lots and lots of fun stones here. And these will all be going out on the 28th of September, which we'll also be doing our unboxing. Hopefully Gina will do hers as well around the same time. But and yes, mark your date, Wednesday, September 28th. We will do the full unboxing of this and the boxes will go up for sale. Yeah, they'll go up for sale about seven o'clock mountain time. And uh, for and those of you that are still interested in becoming a subscriber, there will be an option when you go to purchase your box this time that you can purchase the box with a subscription. You'll just be paying for the box. We'll email you and get you set up on the subscription afterwards. Or if you are already a subscriber or you're not interested in becoming a subscriber and just want the box, that option will be there on the website also. Yeah, right now I think we're thinking about maybe 10 more subscriptions that'll have available. And I'm going to show you one more stone. We can't have, we can't have horror in Halloween without something from Edgar Allan Poe. And this is the raven. You can see the raven wing here across of it and all of the lines. But again, as you look deeper and deeper into the stones, there's just more and more beauty and lines and patterns in there. Anyway, if you like this video, check the like. Subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future videos, in particular the box opening, because that'll be the same time that this box comes up for sale. And these spooky little orphans are anxious to come to your home and be added to your collection. Yes, I think we need a a lightning blast right now, thunder. And, but we appreciate you coming today, and we will see you again in a week. Bye-bye.